present you today how to make a sound activated switch or clap switch. Like so, clapping and the switch goes on. For this project we have two options or to follow this diagram and buy these parts or to order the kit online from our friends from China of course and try to assemble it. We're gonna go for the second option. We have here the kit. We're gonna start assembling it soon and then test it and modify it to serve our purpose. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, on the project of today, this clap switch or sound activated switch, basically when we're gonna clap our hands or we're gonna um, switch our fingers, we're gonna clap them, this board should uh, activate and go on. All right, we're gonna sort the, the things first. We got some diodes, we got some resistors here as well. We're gonna sort them out. We got an indicator LED, two transistors and three uh, capacitors and um, LED, LDR, LED dependent resistor as well, and this condenser mic. As G says, and that's it. Which one is plus, which one is minus, we never know. How the fuck are we gonna notice which one is plus, which one is minus? Pass that thing. You don't say, man. But because it's here, it got only just one position like so here you go because then if you're gonna put it like so it's gonna be offset of the of the drawing yeah so we are lucky we got one position here that we can manage to put it in uh, what else capacitor one goes here one goes there and the other one goes well how the fuck is wrong with this one so capacitor goes here. Huh. You got a spare capacitor? Or? 25 volts, 25 volts. Yeah. How about that? We have a spare capacitor. Hmm. Nice one. Yeah, so there's nothing to tell about this board. As you can see it here, it's pretty self-explanatory apart for the one mega ohm resistor. This one should be alright. Why we got all this? We got all these extra parts, man. What's happening? So we should have just uh, 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 two more. So one, two, three resistor, four, five. Three, four, five. And we got six. <sighs> Crazy, man. Crazy, but it's good. We got some extra parts as well. Let's start assembling the thing. Alright, so let's start assembling the thing. We're gonna start with the LEDs and the condenser mic. We're not gonna cut the wires for the mic because I'm guessing it's quite useful to other projects as well. Alright, that. Alright, so let's get started to solder this mic first. Like I told you, no, we're not gonna cut the wires because this is quite useful for other projects as well. Okie dokie. Still the iron is not fully lit yet, but we can do the stuff nonetheless. Come on, friend. Yeah, we're rushing into this project, friends, because this I'm quite anxious to see this clap switch if it's gonna work or not. This um, switch, you can connect it straight away to the mains. And I'm guessing it's kind of dodgy, but it is what it is. I heard good things about this one. So we have to test it for ourselves to see if it's gonna be a real clap switch. It's got a delay as well. So basically when you're clapping your hands or snapping your finger, it's gonna turn on and then after a couple uh, 40 seconds or so it's gonna turn off all right crappy job all right no worries um, the one thing I have to add uh, there are two transistors here they're not the same one is SCR is labeled this one and the other one is 9014 
and according to the schematic here 9004 9014 goes here with this round thing as you can see in this tiny diagram so all right we managed to chuck the thingy in this kind of the holes are not quite even and we have to be very careful and the other one the SCR goes on the left side of the condenser this is kind of a little bit bent but not to worry we're gonna straighten the things out so like I said you know I'm quite anxious to see this um, I think I saw another one which connect to an, a relay which would, will be more safe to use this one looks kind of dodgy to say the least but maybe it's not maybe it's good but we are reluctant to new stuff like always all right let's solder this uh, thing in place and then we will see what comes next all right we have managed to solder the transistors in place now what's next uh, easier to find is this capacitor which goes like so with a plus and minus here you go and another one they are the same yeah the same the other one goes like so so we're gonna solder both of them in place capacitors and then we're gonna proceed to other pieces the only tricky thing is to find that one mega ohm resistor and that should be it now we're gonna put the LDR where this is placed the LDR come on friends what's happening oh, the LDR goes here I'm guessing this one is uh, no polarity involved the LDR because it's gonna have some resistance when it's gonna see light or not here you go the LDR goes here Let's put it a little bit offset. Maybe we're gonna need it to some other projects as well. <coughs> Did I tell you how much this one cost? <laughs> you ain't gonna believe me. It was less than a buck. Less than a buck, 40 or 50 cents or so. So that's why I'm quite anxious to see if this one is gonna work or not. <laughs> if it is, it's gonna be blimey for sure. All right, so this one is this. Uh, right then, we have the diodes, which uh, you have here the sense of the diodes. Basically, it's gonna be a bridge rectifier. So, we're gonna twist them like resistors. And you have here how it goes. So, this one, all right then. This one goes like so. The other one in the same with this thing, with this. As you can see it here with this thingy you see this one thing you're gonna put it on this ends or so yeah I'm sure you can do it no worries about that all right apparently all diode goes in the same direction which is down let's solder them in place very quick so this one should take us to make like 10 minutes or so so it's gonna be the fastest clap switch ever assembled in 10 minutes or even less come on all right friends we're nearly there we just lack five resistor and we're good to go all right so apparently these three of them are 4.6 4.7 yeah Okay, we're gonna need 100k and 1k. Let's see, 100k. This is, is the 1k. And this one I'm guessing should be, let's see. Yeah, this is the 100k. And this one should be, one. Yeah, that's it. This is the bigger. This is the one mega ohm, as you can see it here, folks. This one, I was guessing this one is the thing. One mega ohm. All right, then. 
All right, we're nearly done. <coughs> All the parts in. We're gonna trim this excess thing and then we're gonna test it. We have uh, our circuit here. We have isolated these wires. This is the LED connected. And then we're gonna put it to the mains. Warning, warning, do not touch any of this device while it's in plug into the main so it's operating because it's a shock so you can die on the spot so do not touch anything and make sure all the wires are isolated all right let's connect it in so now with the plug off we have connected the thing to this entrance here and these wires are connected and the led let's turn the thing on Whew. all right so it's doing on 